Uh, today is the first ever National Voter Registration Day, and across the country, 700 organizations and 50 states are all participating to get people registered, sign up now for the November 6th presidential election. I want to give a big thanks to our president of the Cook County Board, Tony Preckwinkle, uh, Commissioner Liz Gorman. Yes, Tony, thank you. Commissioner Liz Gorman and the commissioner whose district we're in, Deborah Sims, and uh, League of Women Voters Representative Christy Grimm. Okay. Uh, uh, this is a bipartisan movement. I'm really appreciative of all the work that, uh, that Tony and Liz uh, and Deborah have uh, gone into to help today be a success, and also a big thanks to to Krista Grimm and the League of Women Voters because they have volunteers at four of the five courthouses around the county. We also have representatives here today uh, from the Pace Center Association. Some of them are here and they're working at some of the other courthouses. Thank you. Some of the other many organizations participating today included the Hispanic Leadership Institute, the Delta Sigma Theta, Proviso Leiden Community Action, NAACP, and the Illinois Coalition for Immigrant and Refugee Rights. A lot of good organizations. I hold a very simple belief, and that's simply that the more people participate in their government, the much better it's going to work for everybody. As a former history professor, and a fellow teacher, uh, I know that in the New England colonies of more than 200 years ago, many of their town hall meetings actually had the vast majority of local citizens participate in local meetings. Now, since that time, over 200 years of tough struggle, uh, there's been a successful broadening of the franchise of those who could vote, first of all, with, to men without property, then, of course, with African Americans after a great struggle, and finally, in the 20th century, uh, to women. But registering to vote still requires action. And so anyone who is a citizen and turns 18 by Election Day, November 6th, can register, can vote, but they first have to register if they're going to vote. Uh, one of my favorite quotes from David Foster sums it up to me, and that is, there's no such thing as not voting. You either vote by vote, voting, or you vote by tacitly staying home and let someone with probably opposing views cast your vote. Four years ago, there were six million Americans that wanted to register to vote in the presidential election who didn't. So today we join with others all across America and our countywide uh, nonpartisan voter registration effort and part of the effort is what we're doing in the five courthouses, Markham, Bridgeview, to the west Maywood, to the northwest uh, Rolling, Rolling Meadows, and to the north Skokie. All those courthouses are open nine to five. We encourage you to come out and register. It's pretty simple. Also downtown, if you're there, in the, in the county building 69 West Washington, and in City Hall, registration will be taking all, all day. If you can't do it today, you can look at our website, uh, cookcountyclerk.com to see if you are registered or to see other places you can register. You can go to village halls, you can go to libraries, you can go to township offices, and remember the deadline is October 9th, two weeks from today. And finally, remember this year there's three ways to vote. The newest way, the first time in a presidential election, is every eligible person in the state of Illinois can vote by mail. It used to be called absentee. All you have to do is ask to download an application, and you can vote by mail in the comfort of your home. Secondly, you can early vote. That'll be taking place starting October 22nd, all the way up to the Saturday before the election, and in several sites, almost 100 sites in the county of Cook. And finally, of course, election day, election day on November 6th. Good morning, everybody. I want to thank David, Clerk Orr, I want to thank the League of Women Voters and Pace Setters for their work in organizing this voter registration activity. I'm grateful that Commissioner Sims, Commissioner Gorman, and Krista Grimm from the League of Women Voters are here today as well. My understanding is that these initiatives are underway in all 50 states and that hundreds of groups are working to facilitate and increase voter registration and civic engagement. Uh, I wasn't a history professor, I was a high school history teacher, David, uh, but I would always begin my American history classes by saying that democracy was at the same time the best and the most fragile form of government on earth. The best and most fragile for the same reason. It depends on an active, engaged citizenry. An active, engaged citizenry. 
And casting your vote is your first obligation as a citizen. Your first, but not your last. Voting alone is not sufficient. All of us need to be more active in our communities, taking ownership of our neighborhoods, our communities, and our county. History has been shaped by countless men and women whose names never appear in our history books. Those who spoke up, who marched, who sat in, who stood firm, those who organized, those who mobilized. Their persistence and dedication helped bring about changes that few thought were possible. But this is how we keep our democracy strong, ordinary people engaged in community improvement, ordinary people. And the first obligation, as I said, of citizens is voting. So I'm very grateful again to Clerk Orr and to all of our volunteers who are helping people register to vote. Thank you very much. There's really no excuse for people not to be engaged in this race or involved uh, for voting because um, they've made it so accessible and easy, um, to, whether in the convenience of your home or coming out early to vote. Um, all the options are here for people to get involved. If I had a nickel for everybody that says, my vote doesn't count, it doesn't matter, you put all those voices collectively, and that's one heck of a strong vote. So we really need people to get involved and get the word out and get registered. It's now or never. Thank you. Thank you for coming out today, because this is very important. This is a bipartisan. Everybody, we're not here saying who should vote, and, uh, who should sign up, and who, not, who, shouldn't, who should and shouldn't sign up. This is everybody. If you don't vote, you, ha you don't have a voice. So it's important that, you know, those young people that are in your house that say that my, vo my uh, vote won't count, you need to get them out, make sure they sign up to vote, because their voice will be heard. It's important for everyone. Absentee voting, I, uh, David just said, it's easier than ever. Uh, you can just go online and sign up. That's important. That we're making it easier for you to vote so you have no excuse. People stand in long lines so that they can register to vote. Here in Cook County, in the state of Illinois, we've made it very easy for people to sign up to register to vote. So it's important. It's an important day. Make sure you tell your neighbors and your friends and your family to come out, register if they have not registered so we can make things happen. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Sims. And finally, representing the Legal and Voters, Krista Grimm, who has provided many of the volunteers all across the county today. Thank you, Krista. Thank you. President Krakenko, Clerk Four, Commissioners Gorman and Sims, um, I'd like to thank you for inviting us to celebrate the first National Voter Registration Day with you at the Mar Markham Courthouse today. Um, the League of Women Voters has as one of its very core activities registering people to vote. We are a nonpartisan political organization. Um, that means we never endorse a candidate or a political party. And at our core is to encourage informed and active participation of citizens in government. And there's no more basic involvement in, in for a citizen in its government than voting. Across the country today, there are more than 250 leagues of women voters who are involved in voter registration activities, and we will be registering thousands of vote, new voters today. We're proud to join forces with Cook County to register voters at the courthouses today and to have our local leagues sponsor registration events at many other locations across the county. We commend and thank Cook County Clerk David Orr and his staff for working collaboratively with us and supporting our voter registration efforts on an ongoing basis. There are states where there are efforts today to disenfranchise voters, and we're very fortunate that that's not happening here. And in closing, I'd just like to reiterate what Clerk Orr said. There's still two weeks to get yourself registered if you're not. So if you're not able to get out today, take advantage of the opportunity to do it. Thank you. <laughs>